Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, August 2nd, 2021. If you like support channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And uh, we'll start by looking at the US dollar index as the US dollar. Well, it's very important for the market. And usually there's a negative correlation between commodities, precious metals and the US dollar. And as you can see on Friday, we did rally quite a bit. And that, of course, had major implications for uh, US uh, our currency pairs and uh, indices, precious metals, and so on. If you look at the technical indicators for the US dollar index, we can see that the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So we hit the bottom of the bullish band and then rallied. So we do have a crossing here of the 50 moving average uh, and the 200 moving, 200 moving average and usually that is a very bullish shine so this pullback here could be just a minor pullback before continuing higher 50 moving average should offer quite a lot of support and i would be very surprised if we all of a sudden saw the 50 moving average just drop below the 200 yet again the last time we had this crossing was here so this was basically uh, June last year or July last year and we uh, this market just fell apart after uh, this crossing so we could see a recovery of the of the US dollar the next basically the next year going back to the previous levels before this basically started dropping so the up around 100 so that could be the long term for this market so let's look at the Oil market. So WTI has broken above the 20, exp uh, 20 exponential and the middle of the bullish band, and it looks like now we're going back to test these levels here at give or take uh, $75. And break above that, then we open the door to the top of the bullish band at roughly $76.6. Technical indicators are looking very bullish for this market. We did see this market uh, cross here. This was basically in the beginning of July, and then it basically fell all the way down towards uh, 65, and then it has been starting rallying again. We have a crossing yet again here, and therefore we could see this market just recover and pull back towards the 20 exponential and the 50 at around $70. That should basically be the bottom of this market. Drop below here, uh, 65. Then we can see this drop towards 60 and the 200 moving average. Otherwise, it kind of looks like we have recovered here. A really um, awesome recover, basically. We should recover here. So, yes, momentum looks like it's to the upside at this point. And uh, pullbacks are basically buying opportunities. So, let's look at natural gas. So natural gas had a horrible day on Friday. It did reach towards the 20 exponential and then we uh, basically pull back. I don't think this market is going to drop anywhere soon as long as weather conditions are as they are, as long as the wildfires are continuing and so on. Well, of course, we will get over stretch conditions and this will pull back towards support, but, but, uh, but very similar to what happens when it gets extremely cold the demand uh, picks up and you can see these moves and these moves and so on and so on. And uh, that same thing is happening now. People are using um, a lot more natural gas. Uh, so demand is picking up and therefore price is also picking up. And But it, it probably will fall off a cliff when things come under control and uh, everything is over. Then this market will also start falling really, really uh, fast. MACD is crossing the signal line, becoming bearish. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish, but uh, break below the middle of the bullish band, that could open the door all the way down towards uh, 3.45, 49, sorry. So let's look at copper. So copper um, is pulling back quite a bit. Um, we have a crossing here about the 20 and the 50 moving average. We did have a nice rally here, significantly outside, and pullback was expected. If we bounce from the 50 moving average, then that's a very good sign that this market may go higher. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish. So at the moment, short term, 
uh, momentum is to the downside, but uh, this rally here could be a signal that uh, this market could continue higher and go and test the previous highs yet again. So let's look at oil, not gold, sorry. So gold got really hammered on Friday. Um, US dollar started appreciating, never good for gold. And uh, we also hit the 50 moving average and got really rejected here. Break below these candlesticks or 1800, that could open the door to 7050. After 7050, then all the way down to the double bottom here at 1670, give or take. Um, it has been rejected twice at this point. You got here and also here, basically three times. And that is not a good sign for gold. The continuation of the US dollar appreciating. Also, Treasury bonds, then this market will really tumble to the downside. And um, yes, that is basically it. MACD is bullish, Sarcastic is bullish, and RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at silver. So silver did bounce all the way up towards the 200 moving average and then got rejected. Uh, break below the 300, then we could see this drop all the way down to 22.5. But technically, they are looking fairly bullish for this market. Break above the 200, and then we open the door to the 50. But kind of the trend of this market, also in the gold market, is that it is going to continue going down. And that is in general for most of the precious metals and, and rare metals and so on. So kind of looks like that every single rally here is getting sold into. But technically, they are fairly bullish at this point. So let's look at platinum. So very similar here, platinum. It is uh, getting rejected at the 20 exponential. It's getting rejected at the 50. So every time we get to the 20 and towards the 50, it gets absolutely hammered. It, uh, both the 15 and 20 are racing towards the 300 moving average and the 50 is going to cross the 200. And that is a uh, crossing that we haven't seen since basically well, this was August last year. So we have been in an uptrend since August last year. And now it kind of looks like we are going in the opposite direction. MACD is bearish, stochastic is flat, and RSI is flat. Break below the 300, opens the door to 1000, and then and we're much lower than that, all the way down towards 1800, 845. So rallies are getting sold into. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium is uh, is rallying yet again up towards the 20 exponential. Got rejected here at the 50, kind of got overstretched here at the 50, and then we got rejected at the 20 yet, yet again. So uh, at this current date, it looks like we are going to do something similar to this. The 20, the 50 moving average is going to rally this way, 200 this way, you're going to have a crossing somewhere here. And long-term perspective is that probably it's just going to drop even lower. MACD is uh, bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the MAC RSI is is um, is bullish at this point. So, at current age, rallies up towards the twenty and the fifty, they are most likely going to be sold into. Break below the two hundred moving average, that could open the door all the way down to three hundred here at uh, twenty two thirteen. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium did get really overstretched on Friday and then can, uh, started to pull back and uh, wouldn't be surprised if this pulled back all the way down to the 50 moving average as it tends to pull back towards the 50 or the bottom of the bullish band every time it gets really overstretched like it is at this current stage. We are in uptrend and uh, last time we were this overstretched, this happened. It fell from roughly 20, uh, 2500 all the way down to roughly 2300. So. Yes, a massive drop. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is flat at this point. So let's look at nickel. So nickel also getting fairly overstretched and then pulling back, but this is in definitely in an uptrend. It basically broke out of this channel and then got up towards the very highs here and created a double top. And I wouldn't be surprised if they had a fairly big pullback before continuing higher. Breaking about 20K, then we well, then we're going significantly higher, of course. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is uh, it is 
becoming bearish. Um, pullbacks are basically buying opportunities at the 20 exponential. You can see it here. And the 50, both of those have been um, buying opportunities. So let's look at sugar. So sugar pulled back towards the 20 exponential moving average. Um, yes, it is kind of difficult to say how far this will go, whether or not we're going to break all the way down to the bottom and so on that probably we'll see on Monday when the market opens. The MACD is um, bullish at this point, stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish. So we got fairly overstretched here and uh, had a really nice rally, but then fell apart on, uh, on Thursday and also on Friday. So let's go cotton. So cotton fell towards support at the 20 exponential and then rallied. So this is a good sign that uh, buyers were waiting for this and pull back towards the 20 exponential. However, technical indicators are all turning around and break below the 20 exponential could open the door to the 50. Uh, but this has been holding really well, breaking down, rally, break down, rally, and so on. And uh, take out of these two candlesticks that could open the door all the way up towards a very highs yet again. So let's look at Kakoa. So yes, Kakoa, as I kind of mentioned last week, uh, we did have this rally and we are, have seen these rallies before up towards the 300 moving average and the 200 moving average, but they have been highly sold into. We are definitely in a, in a downtrend here, a long-term downtrend and these massive swings to the upside can basically be seen as a trend change, but they get sold into when they get to that when they get overstretched. We are seeing that they find support here at the 20 exponential, but I wouldn't be surprised if this fell even below 22, 29. And uh, we can see that we have support here as well. And break below that opens the door to this level here at 2086. So uh, MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish at as well. So let's look at wheat. So wheat market, um, very difficult to say where we are going at this point. Um, it has been fairly choppy, but we did have this rally up to significantly outside of the Bollinger Band, pulled back towards the 50 moving average, bounced, and now we are kind of testing the same level as before. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So take out the discount stick here, then we could be looking at the similar levels as here, roughly uh, 750. Break below the 50, opposite the door to the 200, and then the 300 moving average down here at 600. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.